Hey, Harley from Old North. Uh, it's Thursday night, a uh, couple days before opener on uh, main deer season. Just getting up to the camp road. It's like 8 o'clock. I got a real late uh, start today. I hate coming up here and getting in here after dark, but. It's not gonna be too bad today because uh, tonight because um, it was 75 degrees up here today <laughs> so I'm not gonna have to worry about uh, getting my uh, getting my uh, camp warmed up I probably won't even start a fire tonight I think it's supposed to be in the 50s or 60s tonight and it's gonna be 70 again tomorrow so but there's going to be a big drop in temperature Saturday, Friday night, Saturday morning. So that'll be good. Maybe that uh, little cold snap might get something running around. Who knows? But I'm going to uh, just unload the necessities tonight. And my clothes, my gun, the food, and uh, get in there and get ready for bed and get something made for dinner and maybe have a cocktail. Yeah, it's getting late. I want to get up here a day early because I got some chores I want to do. We might get a little bit of rain. I don't know if it's tomorrow or Saturday. I would like to get a little bit because I'd like to do a little bit of work around my friggin' couple deer stands. And it'd be nice if it rain and get rid of the scent. So I might do it and I might not. But anyway, I'm up here by myself this weekend. You know, it's funny, I always, uh, when I was growing up, deer season consisted of about friggin' a half a dozen to 15 people, you know, getting together at my grandparents or somewhere to, to hunt. I figured, uh, you know, I got this place, my kids grown up, they're all married, and I had these dreams about coming up here with, uh, you know, everyone taking a week off or four or five days off and coming up here and hunt together with my daughters or son-in-laws. But everyone's busy and that just doesn't happen. So I'm usually up here by myself. Which is okay, I guess. But luckily, uh, two years ago when I got my uh, nine point, my first deer up here, actually, out of one of my stands. Uh, my son-in-law, Kyle, and uh, my buddy, uh, Fox, is over here hunting with me, so. That was cool, the three of us experienced it together. It was cool. It was good that Foxy was here. He's uh, been a good friend of mine for, geez, since we built the place. He's one of the first people I met up here. And he hunts with me once in a while, when he can, so. He lives close by, kinda close, so. I don't know if I'll see him this year or not, but. We'll find out. I'd say bullocks of things I left lights on in the friggin' cellar again. Anything out here? No. All right, so I'm going to unload right here. Just my necessities. I'm going to leave the truck right here. And tomorrow we will uh, get to work. Obviously, i got to shut that light off in the basement because it's not a motion light anymore. It just wants to work all the time by itself. So, All right, I'm going to get out and start unloading. All right, well, I'm in. I got some work to do. Not sure why that was like that, but. Ugh, gotta put stuff away. Flag's gotta go out. Flag always goes out, very first thing. It's the very first thing that always goes out. No matter what's going on, what time of year. Oh, it's black up here. It's awesome. Well, I can't see. Sorry. 
There we go. Wow. Got my one light going. See my weather stick? Pointed right to the sky. This light works half the time. Something else has got to be replaced. Whew. Probably can't see him right now, but the floor is covered with ladybugs, hundreds of them, but believe it or not, that's thousands less that was here last time we come, a couple weeks ago. All right, let's go down and see how bad the water situation is going to be. I'm not sure if I drained my uh, my pipes the last time I was here. So uh, if I didn't, we had a 19 degree night. So and these damn things right here in the spray, oh, that's usually where we have the problem. The innards right in there will freeze and break. So I'm gonna shove that down in there, just in case. Looks like I left the light on, which, boy, I don't remember doing, but I did leave in a hurry, I guess. Hmm. Well, that's been on for two weeks. We'll do a quick mouse patrol later, but ah shit, this is my line right here, so that means I did not drain my hoses. Oh, shit. That sucks. Well guess we just need to turn everything on and hope for the best. Hope I don't have something broken. I'm not really worried about anything down here, but up top I am. We have packs, so that stuff's supposed to stretch a little bit. So let me start turning stuff on, see what happens. Let's see what happens. This is where I wish it was daylight out so I could see really well. So I shut all the lines and stuff off, but. forgot to drain everything so I'm a little nervous Christ I guess I didn't shut the water off either man all right all right what's going on here That's, look, that's on. I did shut the water off. I just shut the wrong breaker on and off. All right, I guess just look around and hope for the best. I'm worried about up here. Well, I don't see a leak yet on that. If that's not leaking, that's a good sign. Oh, let's get some lights on in here. We don't have the greatest of lighting in here. We didn't uh, plan terrifically well, but we didn't want too much anyway. You know, we kind of wanted to be able to leave the camp field. nice every day before and every day after but it was at 19 one night so hopefully it wasn't cold enough to cause a problem but I'm gonna go put this down let the water run for a few minutes so if I have any holes they can 
start to run and grip so I can see stuff and grab a flashlight. But put some of my crap away, get rid of my chairs. So we'll see, cross our fingers. Alrighty then. I got the initial cleanup done. Everything put away. Swept up a couple loads of uh, of the uh, ladybugs. Hopefully they're about done for the year. I'm gonna go start checking uh, for leaks. And um, so we got for mice. Well, in behind the toilet, under the kitchen sink, and under the bathroom sink, looks good. I can't obviously get to see this because it's in behind the wall. I mean, I could take everything out and check, but I'm not going to do it. I do have an access panel right there. I could probably actually take that out without taking the shelves out, but I should be able to see downstairs if I have a problem. I don't see anything on the floors yet. We have to run the uh, water when we come, if you haven't been here for a while, because it gets full of uh, sand. We couldn't uh, get much water when they first drilled, and I wasn't around. I was back home, and the guy that was drilling couldn't get a hold of me, so he did some fracking on our well and, like, tripled the uh, amount of water, and he charged me half because he couldn't get a hold of me so we just went ahead and did it and you know I thought that was fair so yeah so I left my damn solar light on the whole time I was gone for two weeks I hate doing stuff like that I forgot the light I forgot to drain the pipes uh, I don't see anything. I did have some a little bit of uh, wetness in here. Oh, great. Here, that's awesome. Hold on. I just got the strap of my light and that uh, mouse trap. Those things, when they stick to you, oh, my God. When my beagle's up here, once in a while, he'll get one caught on his ear. He'll be come, he'll come in the house. I'll come upstairs with that flopping off his ear. All right, folks. Well, it looks like we may have dodged a bullet. And it's about time because we've had a lot of bullets the last few years that we haven't dodged. And a lot of them were uh, self-inflicted, I will admit. But, like this, forgetting to drain everything. Thank goodness. All right. Well, that's uh, good. Now let's see if we can, uh, it's a time of year, boy, the mice will be starting to come in. We usually get them over here in the corners anyway, when they first come in the doors. It's usually over in this corner here. I've gotten a lot of mice this year, probably 20. And we haven't even been up here that much, but, but, but actually, I don't know if that's bad or not, but... I don't know how many left there could many left there could be, to be honest with you. Alright, so that one's empty. Uh oh, there's one missing. Oh, there it is. I think we had two the last time I was up here. But I think some of them had been here from before. I just couldn't find the traps. Oh, geez, looks like we we're uh didn't get any mice either. Oh, see that trap right there? I'll have to dig that out because I'm assuming there's a mouse in there. That's how that got in there. Ah. That's probably been there a while. Grody. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's been there a while. Oh, there's another one in there too. Jeez Louise. Ah. Yep. That's been there. Well, I want to while there's a funky smell down here and you wonder why it is. Well, that's why that's what it is. Well those have been there a while. Oh. 
Gross. Now, hmm. been looking for this. I had my saw at home and been looking for that. All right, let me get this cleaned up. Well, I don't see any others. <sighs> I always keep a head on those. I usually have about you know, a stack that high of those, just in case. Those used to be like 280 a piece, now they're six bucks. All right, so that's my mice bag. In case we catch any more, we may. Uh, all right. I'm good for the night. What's that noise I hear? I guess it's just the water. It sounds strange. I guess I gotta get up here. And I guess it's alright. just sounded weird down there. Alright, I'll turn that off. That's run plenty. We were just up here a couple weeks ago. It's usually bad after you leave it for like a month. Alrighty, I'm gonna get my jammies on, fix a drink, call my wife, and throw something quick together for dinner. I'll come back in and wash this up later. You can see how it's a little bit dirty in there. It almost looks oily, almost. Maybe if we'd gone a little far further, we'd have struck oil. That'd be nice. Alright. See you in a bit. All right, so that's about it for tonight, I guess. Got my Jamesons on the rocks ready. Got my ice water ready. And I forgot I brought some uh, venison loin. So I'm going to thaw that out and have that. I don't know, maybe tomorrow night or Saturday night if I stay. I brought enough food for six people and I'm up here by myself. Um, but anyway, can I, can I always take it home. Better be prepared than not. So I'm going to, uh, whatever I eat tonight is going to come out of the microwave. Probably some, uh, clam chowder and I might make a salad. That way I can have it already made tomorrow for lunch. But, and that's a guy I got up here a couple of years ago. I got that one when I was a kid. That was 115 pounds, and that was 179. But look at the uh, antlers. The 115-pounder actually has a nicer set of antlers, but the other guys kind of, they're fat and non-typical, so they're kind of cool, and they're a lot darker. But anyway, I don't know if I said it before, but he's got to go back because the, sorry, because the, uh, Hair is falling out of it, so it's got to be, uh, have another cape put on it. The guy said he'd take care of it. He said it happens, but I only waited 20 months for it. Now i got to take it back. All right, so anyway, I'm going to see what I can throw in the microwave for dinner. It's uh, quarter nine. got to call my wife, so I'll be it for tonight probably, and tomorrow I will... Uh, I'll be uh, doing some projects outside. And like I said, I want to get my deer blind opened up, get some of my gear in there. So in the morning when I get down, Friday or Saturday, I won't be making such a ruckus. So I might even take my gun down Friday night, not sure. I don't have a lock on it, so. Um, but I also don't want to take it down because it's going to go from being warm to really cold. So now that I think about it, I guess I won't. So. Alright. So I usually put it out on the deck so I can uh, ease it into the temperature drop. So I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the outdoors. God bless America.